In the studio today, we're going to be taking a look at the One X Player Netbook 5, a 10.1 inch netbook on steroids, with foldable screen that's pen enabled, specs that put some ultrabooks to shame, and a leather outer that makes carrying it around comfortable and stylish. So keep watching to find out more. Now, One X Player makes some incredibly innovative products, such as a tiny eGPU, mini PCs, and handhelds. So when they offered to send us over their new Netbook 5, we gratefully accepted. Though don't worry, Although this netbook has been sent in for review, One X Player are not paying for this review and they're not asking for copy or approval. So these thoughts are my own. So then let's take a look at this tiny little device. And getting it out of the box, I just couldn't believe how small this thing is. It really reminds me of my first EPC netbook from the mid noughties. But unlike those old netbooks, this thing is absolutely jacked. Now, despite having a 10.1 inch screen, we've got an Intel i7-1250U processor in here, along with 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM and a one terabyte of fast Gen 4 SSD. This comes in at just over $1,000. Now picking it up, it feels like a dense hardback book and it weighs in at a mere 970 grams. Now we do have an outer leather cover on both sides, which makes it feel luxurious and it's comfortable to hold. Now opening this netbook, it looks like a normal clamshell laptop. Now the deck is aluminium and it feels really solid. The actual trackpad itself it is really tiny, but it clicks and it feels really responsive. It's like a haptic trackpad because you can click anywhere on here. It's really quite impressive for something so small. Now the actual keyboard itself, being a 10.1 inch size, it is a little bit sort of shrunken down, but the keys were great to type on. They're also backlit. And the only issue I did find with it are the actual very small number and command keys and the small arrows, but you do soon get used to them. Now, as well as the standard clamshell mode, this netbook has a handy feature. The screen can come forward just like the Surface Studio laptop. We have an angled position, which is great for media consumption. Then we also have this sort of flat position, though it does still have a very slight incline, which makes it great for taking notes or doing a little bit of drawing on here. Magnets hold the screen in each of the modes, so it does feel incredibly sturdy. Now moving up to this display, and we get a stunning 10.1 inch 2560 by 1600 400 nit touchscreen display. It's color accurate, 108.8% .8 of the sRGB, and has an incredible pixel density, so the images look incredibly sharp. The screen, as I mentioned, can accept pen input, and One X Player have even included this incredible stylus with the unit. Looks very much like an Apple Pencil, and it's actually not bad taking notes on this screen. Now I would say with the size of this device, it's gonna be better for taking notes than it is gonna be for digital art, because this is quite a tiny little 10.1 inch device. And the digitizer, although it's pretty good, is not quite as accurate as the digitizer on my Surface Pro 8. Now normally, once we've looked at the screen, I'll take a look at the webcam. But sadly, this actual device does not have a webcam built in at all, so that's going to be a bit of a difficult one. Now with regards to the ports, on the left side we have a USB-C 4, a headset jack, and a micro SD card slot. And on the right side, we have a USB-C 3.2, and also a power button, which has a built-in fingerprint reader. Now, whilst we're looking at the sides of this device, at the rear, we've got exhaust vents on both the left and the right hand side of the device. And at the front right and front left, we've got the speaker grills for the Harman speaker systems. And they sound like this. Audio test of the Netbook 5 at 50% volume. And 80%. Then finally, 100%. For such a tiny little machine, these are really quite impressive. Now, obviously, they could always do with a bit more bass. There's a little bit of distortion, but I mean, realistically, for a 10.1 inch laptop, I'm impressed. Now, with regards to the performance, don't expect this tiny 10.1 inch netbook to be a AAA gaming monster. This laptop's gonna be great for office work, Photoshop, media consumption. These are all brilliant on this tiny little device. The Core i7-1250U seems to be able to hold 10 watts on a long-term boost in this tiny chassis. So although, say, a little bit less than the Surface Pro, bear in mind how much smaller this device is. Running our Geekbench 6, the single-core scores were incredibly impressive, meaning that this device is gonna be great for day-to-day -day activities such as opening apps, web browsing, and office work. Now, as always with Intel, you get good CPU performance, but lackluster GPU performance. And that's obviously no different here. 
Now for a lot of Office users, this level of performance is gonna be perfect. I found my daily mix of writing scripts, researching, editing thumbnails, and even some light 3D modeling worked great on this laptop. I did try some video editing in DaVinci Resolve and it struggled, it was a complete slideshow. But this device is definitely not designed for heavy 3D workloads. Now I also tried a bit of lightweight gaming such as eSport titles and indie titles. They played perfectly well. I even managed to squeeze in a couple of games of Beyond All Reason, which is my favorite RTS at the moment, and it handled it perfectly, although playing on this tiny screen was a bit of a challenge. And if you are dead set on buying this device, but you do need more 3D performance, then you're still in luck, because it does have a USB 4, so eGPUs will work fine on this laptop, such as the One X Player One X GPU, which looks absolutely amazing. So if you are watching One X Player, please send us one in, because we'd love to test it for you. Now, when you're heavily using the device, the fans do spin up and become quite audible. Certainly not as loud as a gaming laptop, but it's definitely noticeable. It didn't bother me when I was gaming, but if I was using it, you know, some heavy sort of CPU work and they were spinning up, it might have been a bit annoying at times. So if you do want it to actually run in a quiet mode, we do get a hotkey which locks it down to seven watts and keeps the unit quiet, which is gonna be perfect for those library study sessions. Now moving to battery life, and the 11,000 milliamp battery lasted us about 6,050 minutes and our usual test of streaming YouTube over Wi-Fi at 200 nits of brightness. That's not bad for such a tiny little device. And being low powered, you can easily throw in the tiny little 65 watt GAN charger into your bag, or you could use a power bank, or just plug into your PD monitor when you get to work or home to use this tiny netbook as a fully fledged computer. Now I've been using mine hooked up to my Dell 4K monitor, which has got a built-in hub that includes 90 watt power delivery, USB-C ports, USB-A ports, and even an Ethernet port and it makes a great one cable solution for your office. So that takes me through to the conclusion. And I think this is a very cool, but a very niche device. Using this as a laptop with its tiny 10.1 inch screen is gonna get painful fast if you're used to using larger laptops. But if you're somebody who travels a lot with your device and needs to often work on the go, but has a larger monitor in their office or at home, then this thing could be absolutely fantastic. Certainly somebody using it for trains and planes, something this tiny is perfect. And for me, I'm often on customer sites and need a small, rugged laptop to complete maintenance. So personally, I want the smallest device I possibly can, and this thing is perfect for that, and when I get home, I plug into my Dell monitor and have a fully fledged setup, so I don't care how big the actual device screen is. So there we go, those are my thoughts on the Netbook 5, tiny weeny little netbook on steroids. I am really, really pleased with this device, and I think, you know, it is a niche product, but it's a lot of fun. Now, as always, if you've got any questions, pop them down below and I will get back to you. And lastly, thanks for watching.